Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all about Illustrator document generation or document creation, going over the three different methods included uh, that allow you to create a new document with given uh, parameters. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, make sure you come and join to help with scripting, extensions, Premiere plugins, uh, After Effects plugins, UXP plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the channel on YouTube and become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks uh, like Discord status, uh, code in advance, live streams, and much more, you can uh, join on the channel down below in the description. You can also check out our AE scripts where I have free and paid products to help improve your workflow and support us. And also check us out in the description um, on Adobe Exchange where I release lots of cool utility stuff. All right, so let's just dive straight into it. To do any of these add document or uh, creation methods, you need to first reference app.documents. This references the application illustrator itself and then all of the documents within it. And all we have to do once we refer to the documents is give it an add uh, method call. This can be add, add document, or add document with dialog option. Let's take a look at the first one, app.documents.add, just a normal add here, which requires the most arguments. The first argument is uh, whether it requires RGB or CMYK. For these, I have it listed that you need to put an integer, but in reality, you should be giving it the first bit as well, which is document dot, or sorry, document color space dot RGB and document color space dot CMYK. So instead of giving an integer, that's just kind of how it labels them in the object model viewer here. You don't want to give them the integer. You want to give them this here. So if I wanted my document to be an RGB, I would give it document color space to RGB. The next two arguments are pretty self-explanatory width and height. You just need to give it an integer for these. The number of artboards you're going to give it is quite obvious as well. This is the number of artboards your Illustrator document will be, cre be creating by default. So you could say maybe five. Actually, let's just fill these in here. Then we have artboard layout. This is the next one that needs to be discussed a little bit. Just like any of the enumerated values in here, these have a full list of all the things, but you also need to include this beginning part, which in this case is simply just the name document artboard layout. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory once you see it in the guide. And we could say document artboard layout dot row. We could say dot column. We could say uh, right left grid by row. There's all of these seven options here, which allow you to totally customize how your artboards will be laid out. Next, we have the artboard spacing. This is just the actual number in spacing. You don't have to provide any special properties. Just give it a value. Then for artboard rows or columns, we just have to give it another number. So something arbitrary in this case, we'll just say four. So let's go ahead and run this. I'll go ahead and hit F1 and launch this in Adobe Illustrator. It's going to tell me I need to hit continue to actually launch this to be trusted as its developer. Um, and as you can see, we now have our new document. We have our five artboards here and they're organized exactly in the way that we gave them. This is an RGB uh, active document. And uh, now we can move on to the other two add methods. So the next one is called dot add document. This one only requires three arguments, which makes things quite a bit simpler, uh, even more so because they're optional. In this case, just the startup preset is uh, required. In fact, I don't even know entirely if it is, but the startup preset is going to be a string. So whenever you launch Illustrator for the first time, you're going to see all of your startup presets. And then show options dialog, true or false of whether you want to show the options. Let's go ahead and just isolate this code and run it. You can see we're getting a bad argument in here. I bet if we just make it one argument and give that a try, continue. It doesn't seem to like the name letter. Maybe if I try one of these blank templates, I can use it. Try banner ads. All right, so now I'm going to lastly go over this last one, very similar to previous add document, um, and that is add document with dialogue option. This is very simple. We simply have startup preset, 
and show options dialog. If we look at the actual guide, it's going to give us the same thing. We need a string for the startup preset, as well as a bool for whether or not we want to show true uh, the options dialog or false not show it. And by the way, um, to go back to this because I forgot to actually run it, we need to get the startup presets by saying app dot startup presets list. So I'll say alert app dot startup presets list. I believe is what it said save that and run it and in this case you can see we have art and illustration film and video mobile print and web so let's just go ahead and choose a web as our startup string we'll say web and we're just going to use web run the script and now we've created a simple web based document going down to the next one we can also use web as well and if we want to say true, we can show the options dialog. Go ahead and run this. Hit continue. And you can see it's going to ask us to create a new document, but give us the option to choose our settings. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's all about Illustrator document generation or creation using a script, how to create one from scratch, how to use different arguments, or how to just quick, quickly create one without any pop-ups. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description, you can check out this code in the GitHub link, follow us there for coding updates and also in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with awesome members and much more. And you can also help support us on YouTube, link for that is in the description down below. To become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, get cool perks and help us out. You can also check us out on AE Scripts to help support us, uh, download free stuff or purchase to help improve your workflow as well. And Adobe Exchange, link for that also in the description, where I'm uploading lots of cool free and paid utility tools. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.